Ever wondered how ethical hackers practice their skills safely and legally? Well, today we're diving into the solution, setting up a personal hacking lab. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully operational lab to test your ethical hacking skills responsibly. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you find this video helpful. So, what exactly is a hacking lab? It's essentially a controlled environment where you can safely and ethically test out cyber attacks and defenses without causing any harm to real systems. This is super important for anyone looking to understand the ins and outs of cybersecurity. All right, let's talk about what you'll need. First, the hardware requirements. You'll want a computer with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, though 16 gigabytes is recommended. A decent processor is also essential for running multiple virtual machines. Now, for the software requirements, You'll need virtualization software like VirtualBox, which is free and beginner-friendly. You'll also need operating system ISOs, such as Kali Linux for the attacker and optional targets like Windows or Ubuntu. Lastly, don't forget a reliable internet connection for those occasional downloads, and of course some time and patience for the setup process. Welcome to Chapter 3, Installing VirtualBox. First, visit virtualbox.org and download the version suitable for your operating system. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the prompts. Make sure all components are installed for smooth functionality. Now let's move on to Chapter 4, Setting Up Virtual Machines. Step 1 is setting up Kali Linux. Begin by downloading the ISO from kali.org. Next, create a new virtual machine in VirtualBox. Name it Kali Linux, set the type to Linux, and select Debian 64-bit as the version. Allocate 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of storage. Attach the ISO file to the virtual machine, start the VM, and follow the installation prompts. For step 2, setting up additional virtual machines, repeat the above steps for your target systems, such as Windows or Ubuntu. Moving on to Chapter 5, Configuring Networking. There are a couple of networking options to consider. The first is NAT network, which allows internet access for virtual machines while isolating them from the host machine. The second option is host-only network, which enables communication between virtual machines without internet access, making it perfect for attack and defense simulations. And now, for the outro wrapping up. Congratulations! You've successfully set up your first ethical hacking lab. Remember, it's crucial to use the lab responsibly. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more ethical hacking tutorials. Drop your questions or suggestions for future videos in the comments below. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll cover essential commands and hacking tools step by step. Happy hacking!